Hey friends, it's your boy Big TCG Fan coming at you with another video and today we are going to continue opening our booster packs from Ophidian 2350. Now this game right here is really cool. Now that I actually got a hold of the rules and dug through them. So I'll give you an example here. So each round you start with, or heat they call it, you start with 10 points plus a number based on how many heats you're in. So for the first heat you had one, second heat you had two, etc, etc. The cards, um, they have a level number. Uh, this is like a type. Um, then you have down here how much it costs in CPs. CPs are the points that I was talking about, their abilities. So it's really cool. Now what's most interesting is the flow. Let me see, you see the minus here. That represents a minus flow ability. So if you, for example, if you if you have the flow, you can use an ability with a plus that will get, see this one has a negative, that will gain you the flow, like this one here, plus. Uh, play an ability, a card, advancing towards your opponent or attacking your opponent. Oh. All right, cool. Pump Gladiator. Here's our rare Pump Gladiator once again. And they have victory points here for these gladiators. You're allowed to have, you have four gladiators and you're allowed to have up to 10 total points of victory points. That's their way of controlling it. So you do have some of the really strong ones overwhelming the game. And you start off with one gladiator and you can work your way up. So it's really cool. It's definitely a different game. It has all sorts of things that you can work with. There's a uh, layout which consists of two decks, one being your gladiators, the other being the rest of your cards. And then obviously a, you have a, a grave, basically like a graveyard for each one. So it's pretty cool. Ryla, Rogue Demon. Hey, this is a different version of the same character. Oh, and she's way more points too. She's much sexier too. <laughs> There's a nice one. Oh, it's a zone. Sweet. You definitely want to get some zones in there because the, basically it's an arena that they're fighting in and the zone cards will change the arena and how they fight. Here's another. Hey, we had that guy already and we've had that one. But they'll change how they fight based on the arena. This game looks really cool. That's kind of fortunate because this is the only set forth that ever came out. And it just never caught on. And it ended up being a dead property for a while. But eventually it was picked up by some board company and they turned it into a a board game. Oh, there was our rare revitalization. It's a nice. You just pay a bunch and bam, healed. The fallen one. Lilith, the filer of death. Nice. Yeah, I'm definitely going to be able to put together an all-female team. It's just a minute because like, you have the different points. Like that one was five victory points. If I used her, that would literally be half my team. So there's a different strategies you can try. You could try to go with varying... You could try to go with varying strategies that might come up. Oh, that's a great art. I like this artwork. Nice. She looks really good. I'm going to have to use that card just because. But you have different strategies that you can use. You can try to have like one gladiator that's just all powerful and with a bunch of minions that die around it. And the idea being that once you get that one out, you could crush down all of your opponent's gladiators. Or you can try with the 10 points to spread them out. Oh, here's another. Yeah, I had her already. So that was our rare jerk and sidestep. So you can have one gladiator that's super powerful, or you can spread it out and have like a bunch that's like two or three. You can have like two twos, two threes, you know, basic. But you, if so, if you went with a six, then you're stuck throwing a bunch of fours in there, which can really, or a bunch of ones. Uh, so you could do a six, and two ones and a two would be the only way you can pull it off. Like for example, with this, she's a four. This is a health. That's the, how many how many health points they have to be at before they go into rage. And then, um, let me see what that one is. I had it right here. Oh, it's, it's a weird number, weird ADMG, which stands for the amount of attack damage or gladiator. Oh, it's her attack. Attack damage, okay. That's one way to do it, I guess. Cinder Mall. And see, then that adds to their attack damage, okay. I like it. Yeah, this game's... See, I'm not so sure about the art, but it really fits it. Drop that. It really fits it as far as like this kind of sci-fi-ish, primitive, but like there's some technology system in there. And these minions, what the minions do is they work 
with your character. They have attacks. You could fight with them or they could fight, but I like her. She's two, so, so she'll definitely be able to make it in. But they, they can fight. They have different abilities. Like I saw one that was a healer, so it would be useful. So you can do like a defensive strategy. You try slowly, you know, beat, the, beat them down or you can so super aggressive or you can go middle. Oh, that's kind of a cool, cool little artwork there. There's your rare kinetic shield. Yeah, not a single gladiator is rare. So that definitely was probably a intentional choice on the part of Electric Tag Gladiator, on the part of the game designers, because I guess they just didn't want you chasing cards for these guys. You know what I mean? So they're all common or uncommon. Prince of Gifts. So here's your rare. Another zone. Power in numbers. During the regenerate step, if a player controls two or more gladiators, that player draws plus one bonus card. If a player controls three or more gladiators, that gains one, one CP. <laughs> Excuse me. So, projectile spines. Yeah, so it should definitely... It's definitely going to be a lot of fun. I'm hoping that we get a few more zones, and I imagine you're only going to have one zone in play and the change of zones and all that. Should be fun. So that could be a battle that you're dealing with, too, is fighting with the zones. Lady of the Lagoon. Look at that. She's, a, she's the rare minion right there. Okay, oh, and she neutralizes. There's another gladiator. Oh, I like her. Seeker of Shadows. She's a one, so she could be my one, because you need ones. Nice. And then you got to keep in mind the abilities, because if you don't have this, it's not just a CP, but it, the, your ability cards, like this one here, not only do you have to have, your, your gladiator has to be that level or higher to use it. So like anybody can use this one. And then also you have to pay the, uh, the cost. You can't just, and on top of it, it has to be a card that one of your gladiators has as its type. Otherwise, you can't play it. So you have to keep all that in mind. Some of the rare cards have foiling on them, it's, or commons, and then the rare doesn't. Soul Bleed, Madame Patisse. This is a different Madame Patisse. Nice. Yeah, I'm looking forward to playing this game quite a bit. I think it's going to be a lot of fun, and hopefully, You'll be here with me to enjoy the game, at least through the video. Bacterial pool. Oh, that's a zone. Nice. An uncommon zone, no less. Nice. Pump gladiator. See, there's your rare. Nactool shield. Little jinx. Oh, nice. Yeah, we're definitely going to be trying to use her. Look at that. And she's only two VP points, so... Victory points. Because basically when you kill your opponent, you know, there's three ways to win the game. One of which is that you knock your opponent out. Let me see. We'll go right here to find victory conditions. Annihilation victory. Wipe them all out. Point victory. Go after the big boys and your opponents won't be able to stop you. So basically you beat all your opponents, uh, your gladiators off the board. Because someone might have gladiators that are less than 10 points. That's it. Yep, iron sights. There's your rare. Slobbering bite. Uh, trace. Oh, another one. Nice. So yeah, yeah, you uh, go after the big boys. So you get you get your ten points. If you can get ten points of vic it'll give you a victory. Or uh, crowd right victory. This is spectator sport. So what you do is there's a crowd. If you excite them enough, they'll riot, crushing the field and tearing your opponent's limb from limb. So, because what it is, there's cheer points that you get for when you're fighting. So, if you can pull that off, you'll actually win that route. That's probably the hardest way to win, outside of just knocking your opponent unconscious. So, as you can have, you can see that gives you a whole variety variety of strategies to deal with. Oh, that's kind of cool, robot guy. Here's your rare minion mannequin droids, robotic. See, so you got to keep all this in mind. There's more than one type of these guys. I've seen several names, but they're in different variants of them. So. It's cool. So that's the game right there. You know, like I said, I think this game is a lot better than it ever got credit for. And it's definitely a, a unique way to play. I was reading the rules and I was like, this game, there's your rare electro chains. 
Rilo. There's another right. No, that's the other one. She's three victory points. And, and it's a. Uh, it's gonna be a lot of fun. Yeah, it's just when you read the rules on the website. The website's called ophidianuniverse.fandom.com, and, and that's where I found out all my information from. So shout out for them. All right, so this concludes this video. Um, next next video, we're gonna take all this. I'm gonna build two decks. So make sure that you like, subscribe, comment down below, share if you can. Peace out.